Sup, people? How's it going? This is Emilio Lopez. Uh, despite the stream saying that it's episode 205, we are actually doing an, it, another edition of Throwdown Draws. So, yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to be here for about two hours drawing for you. Actually, this one is this edition of Throwdown Draws is actually going to be a little bit different than the previous ones. Uh, I am working on projects that I cannot show you on t on uh, on uh, on a stream because they're time sensitive or they're under NDA. Usual stuff as a freelance artist. So, what I did for you though is I actually pre-recorded an episode of pre-recorded me drawing something last night. In fact, I drew it during the during last night's episode of Throwdown. So. While I, while everybody, while we were all talking and everything, I was pre-recording all of this. So what you're going to be seeing is you're going to be seeing me live on the on the uh, left side of the screen, on the right side of the screen. But you're also you're going to see a two-hour drawing session of me drawing a character from um, from Death Stranding, which is this kind of skull face looking guy. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, let's go up to the screen, and here we go. There I am. Yay. How's it going, guys? So, yeah, I'm keeping an eye on the chat and all that good stuff. So, you know, it's just going to start up as normal. And then, uh, yeah, so I can just explain to you all the different things that I'm doing. And then, you know what, I'll put on a little music in the background see, so you guys can listen to it. There you go. So yeah. Yep, it's from Death Stranding. Mr. Honey's Gaming. So you actually get to see me draw it from beginning to end. Uh, I didn't speed up anything. It's all just me doing this during the epi during last episode of Throwdown. And uh, yeah, so I'm just here just to see notice I'm, I'm, I'm drawing. But, you know, you can't see... Uh, <laughs> Things are happening on the screen, but I'm not doing anything yet. So it's it's all pre-recorded. I don't want to you know lie on it or lie or anything, but yeah. So I pre-recorded it so that I can work on things for my my own job, and as well as you know talk to you guys. Actually, right now I'm flatting a cover for a, for a, a comic. Flat coloring a, com a, col a cover for a comic drawn by Kari Randolph. This cover was actually drawn before New York Comic Con. But obviously, you know, I was prepping for New York Comic Con and everything. So, you know, I can't, but I can't show this. That's the, the, the stinky thing about doing this sort of stuff for a living is like you know you, once you finish it you really want to show everybody oh man i just finished this i finished that but you know you're at, you're beholden to you know the guys who pay the bills and you know they say hey listen you can't show that until we can show it so that's the way it goes so yeah a lot of my a lot of projects i have i can't show you a lot of projects i have i can't even um i can't even reveal That's how sensitive the nature of all this stuff is. So yeah, you're gonna see me do a little bit of sketching and figure out what the what the what the what the what I want to do with the drawing is. <laughs> you want a, you want a Norman Reedus emote? <laughs> We're still figuring out the, the the emotes that you get for this, but we do have two emotes up right now. Uh, um, as we said last night on uh, uh, on Throwdown, uh, we have a Bowser emote and then we have a Torrance Davis remote <laughs> um, emote. So if you're subscribing to our channel, you can throw a little Torrance Davis from uh, our old boss from. Uh, from STFU and play on there, and uh, 
You know, if you guys are, you know, from the from back in the old days of uh, Throwdown, Torrance Davis was the, you know, we did Throwdown originally on his on his website, uh, STFU and Play. We showed it to Torrance, and he's he was pretty much cracking up about it. In fact, I actually have to do some stuff for him soon to kind of pretty up his sights. Uh, it's not his sites, but his, um, what do they call it? His streams. But yeah, if you guys have, also, if you, ha if you have any, like, uh, ideas of, of modes that you might want to, might want to have, also, you know, feel free to drop them in, you know, drop them on our Twitter or anything like that. Things that we, we're still, we're still figuring this sort of thing out, because this, this is like, you know, this is a whole different world than YouTube. For the drawing that I did here uh, of the skull-faced man from uh, from Death Stranding, I didn't want to draw him in the same position as he was drawn on the on the you know Shinkawa art. So I kind of did a you know kind of a cool different you know I had an idea for a different pose that I wanted to do with him, rather than like you know some of the other um, ones that I did for Death Stranding, which is the um, you know like if you see the little Norman Reedus there, that's actually not a, a finished drawing. That's actually something I might do or might have might done but he's really just there for size comparison and head size comparison and stuff like that for the kind of shibi mini versions of the characters that I've been drawing for the series of of uh, Death Stranding uh, fan art so Yeah, the 30 tier, the, the, the highest tier of um, uh, emotes, we haven't created yet. But for the pr the lower tiers, we do have those. So yeah, Bowser is, uh, I, th I can't remember what they are. I'm, I'm, I'm still a little bit sketchy on a lot of this stuff. So uh, the the station that you're currently listening to right now, like the music that you're listening to, is actually not from my computer. This is actually from a a, 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 a YouTube channel that recently opened called um, KJP Radio. Uh, if you go into YouTube, you can find these guys. These guys, this guy, this guy's plan. It's it's called the it's, K, it's KJP Radio. It's called uh, Metal Gear Codex, which is uh, the name of the YouTube channel. And this guy is just wants to just stream Kojima uh, music, which is pretty awesome. So it's literally every single bit of music from every single game, every single Metal Gear game, all the other games that he's worked on, Boktai, the, the, you know, the NES games, all those things. It's all Kojima related. You might even hear a Death Stranding song or two in here. So I figured this time around we just, you know... Instead of me curating the music, I just let that guy's channel do that. So if yeah, if you're interested in listening to more of this thing, he wants to literally have this thing running 24/7. Oh look, it looks like our little chat windows are actually opening, which is great. I can actually see you guys uh, posting stuff down there, so it's good. So yeah, every so often you'll see me stop because I'm probably uh, talking on the talking on the podcast. <laughs> uh, the way I actually got this idea to do a pre kind of a pre-recorded drawing stream is from um, like well again it's like I work on a lot of things that are are sensitive. So when I was doing the Zone of Enders project for Konami, I was you know I wanted to really really wanted to stream those things for you guys, but at the same time I can't. Because it was there was a specific release date that we had to hit, and I couldn't show anything before any, anything was done. So what I did, so I had, so what what I, what happened was I had the idea. I was like, okay, if I can't do this now, so what if I recorded me doing these things, and then I post them later? So this, in a way, is a some a somewhat of a test of that idea. 
where it's like I'm drawing. It's still me, you know, you know, I'm still here live right here in the corner, but and answering questions while just also going in there and uh Yep. So yeah. So it's a so like especially especially, you know, it's also a great promotion for things that are going to be happening. So, you know, let's say I'm working on another big project, right? Pre-record the whole thing, make sure that I'm here live talking to you guys to answer any sort of questions you might have. And, you know, and uh, meanwhile, I'm able to work on the things that I can, that I need to work on, as opposed to just stopping everything to kind of just do the stream. So yeah, here I'm kind of still figuring out, um, like how, uh, what I really want to do with the pose. I haven't, uh, at that point in time, I hadn't fully figured out what I wanted to do with it yet. At some point in time, you're going to probably see me write a number on the, on the top left corner. That's actually to tell myself in, you know, tell myself in the future that I, I'm getting close to finishing. Oh, my mic is low? Uh, how about now? I mean, it's my levels seem to be running pretty good on my side. Barry, you may need to check your hearing. <laughs> <I'll figure out. laughs> uh, maybe I was a little bit too far away from the microphone. Let me check my levels on the actual microphone itself. Um, I'm actually not plugged in, so I can't actually hear myself inside of the thing. Hello. All right. Turn on the gain. How's that? Is that is that better, guys? Hello. There we go. I mean, it, you know, I'm getting pretty high up on there, so that's pretty good. This song is from Metal Gear Solid 4. I think. Yeah, so this one, this stream is not like crazy long. It's probably just going to be about two two hours. Also, to know if you guys, um, you know, uh, stick around at around, uh, you know, toward the evening, we're going to have a stream with uh, Riku-san. He's going to be streaming the rest of um, streaming more of um, of Kingdom Hearts for you guys, which is cool. He's actually playing Kingdom Hearts two for the first time. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, it's kind of like a, it's kind of annoying doing streams with Kingdom Hearts music. Like that stream specifically, the the the, the intro of the game literally set off every single like copyright strike on that on that on that uh on that video. In fact, to the point where it pulled the video down from YouTube because there was because their their algorithms are so sensitive. Uh, here's a weird one like the the stream that i did the actually did the live drawing on of quiet uh you know not long ago that one literally had uh, got a bunch of strikes on it too and i wasn't even playing any music that was right next to me i was actually my girlfriend was playing uh music on uh like some jazz music on her on her computer and the algorithm got that stuff too and it literally called that all that stuff too as well it's like man it's like you can't listen to anything these days now it's like, well, we're because we're broad, supposedly we're broadcasting it, and now these guys want to catch some money off of it. We ain't making money, any money off this stuff on our side. Anyway. So yeah, I'm still, 
still trying to figure out on the drawing what um, what we're doing. You know, what I'm going to do as far as a pose. Also, you know, like, Yeah, I mean, he, like, um, YouTube tends to be kind of, our, is, I noticed that, like, it's kind of being, it's kind of like our archive now, where we kind of, because obviously Twitch doesn't keep everything around for more than a few months, so what we do is we just upload everything later, and that's where everything, you know, we can have it all up on there. We'll see. We'll see. You know, Honey Gaming. We'll see how it goes with the with all this. So far, it's been pretty cool. Uh, we have a couple of subscribers, which is cool. You know, which is great. And we're still trying to fig trying to really sit down and figure out how, um, you know, how this all this stuff works. Obviously, you you're you know better than we do, so we probably have to ask you things. Because you've been doing it for a lot longer than we have. We've been doing the Twitch thing. We just haven't been really focusing too much on Twitch because of just how, how difficult it is just to kind of get anything. But all of a sudden, we got not long ago we got the um, the the Twitch affiliate, which you know thing, which is interesting because we never thought we were making enough num numbers to even get something like that. You know. Most of the time, it's just like you know, our Twitch numbers were very, very low. Barry could tell you he's a he's our moderator on uh he's been our moderator for, since we've had Twitch. It's been a, like a light room, you know. Yeah, see now I'm now I'm draw, now at the drawing I have there, it's it's getting to something. Now it's starting to look like something. A lot of times when I do artwork, um, I don't, I have a plan, but sometimes I don't have a clear plan. And in this situation, I didn't have a clear plan of what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something fun and cool, but, you know. Oh, what's that mean? I got a little noise. Oh, it looks like we had some sort of... What's that? Hey, thanks for the subscription, guy. There. It's funny i hear the noises when they go off but i don't know like sometimes i don't know what they are i think what, what we have to do is we have to um essentially get our you know put specific noises on there so that we can so we know exactly what they mean because right now it just kind of makes it kind of you know it kind of just makes the same noise but yeah thanks so thanks a lot for the sub Dubs versus dubs. <laughs> I know a couple of you are are actually just getting home right now. You know, so yeah, keep you know, you jump in when you when you're you know, you're good. Or, you know, some of you who are watching us uh, later on, good stuff.
Right now we're using OBS. All, all of us are using OBS. So it's a... Uh, it's kind of simple. Here's the one thing about OBS, though, like, especially since we all, like, me, Carlos, and Tony have, all have OBS running, right? And we're, the one thing about it is keeping parity between all of our, our, our streams. So, like, in other words, if I design, I'll design the whole, you know, the whole overlay. Like, if you look around, you see the, you know, I have my little, little codec box, codex box here, and, and then I have all this stuff here. Now, I've, all of our throwdown stuff is all the pretty much the same stuff and we just kind of reuse them but literally i have to go through with everybody on how to recreate the um the overlay system that we have here so you know the, the two little the live thing that's on the top on the top over there and then the um the uh, the stuff that's on the corner over there on that side right that's all like gifts that i that you can put on there so like just trying to keep everything the same is, is difficult. Oh, Streamlands is a bot service. Huh. Oh, we'll have to look at that. I, I don't know exactly how, how it all works. Maybe Tony has, has already has it running. I know one of the things I had to do is just kind of adjust this stuff so that all the little things in, appear on the screen. Streamlabs plus, uh, oh, I think I've seen that one. <laughs> you were cleaning it, uh, Barry Burton, you were cleaning out your garbage and, <laughs> and now you can procrastinate. <laughs> Yeah, Carlos was looking out on that one to see how it works. I'm still learning all of this stuff. It's actually kind of re it's really interesting. Like, there's a lot of things that we've been talking about in the you know just in the creation of the trying to create the, you know a kind of a cooler experience for everybody on here. And uh, one of them is just like you know maybe maybe trying to do an animation for the intro of the show, which we wanted to do before but unfortunately like at the time i was so busy with work that i had to do it but i mean now i can do now my schedule's a little bit freer so that i can start boarding out something interesting the only thing is that i need uh i don't have a proper editing program granted i can create little bits of animation it's just i can't um i don't have anything to, to edit them together you know uh, couple of people say I should use um, Sony Vegas and you know some people say I should use Premiere so I, I just need to get my hands on those programs unfortunately I don't have I don't have uh, access to that stuff right now so whenever you see animations by me that show up on the internet and stuff like that like or, or, or um, there are a lot of that stuff is all created in Photoshop believe it or not uh, Photoshop actually can do animations same thing with the program called uh, Clip Studio. You have an animation program in there that you can create things with. Yeah. So what I was in, was planning to do was like, I can get my hands on um, Premiere, right? Then what I can do is I can create a lot of the raw footage in Photoshop, export them, and then edit them together in Premiere, or just use some of the, the Premiere features to kind of create little things. But you know, OBS also has some really cool stuff. Like this whole menu here that's going on in the background, you see all these things floating around and everything. I created all that in OBS for E3 special. I made this really cool, like moving city thing. It was, a, I literally found a, you know, a shot of, um, of LA and then I had built all these, you know, these little buildings I put on the bottom. So the building, so it, it has like a parallax thing that kind of you know moves them across on the bottom 
and then the city moves in the background and then the stars move slower it was a really cool thing that we got to that i did for it and what i did was also for that i exported i recorded about a, a couple of feet of video for for carlos so whenever he starts up his the podcast on his side because he was going to do live streams he was going to have the same little moving background as we did when we did our little our, our mini live uh, day-to-day streams on um when we're on the you know coming back from e3 so yeah the menu back here is very metal gear ish if you notice like it's it's very metal gear solid 2 the little floating things around everywhere and then uh my little logo on the bottom there which is the e little e-man logo as i call it see a little thing that says <laughs> just subscribe with uh with twitch premiere i'm guessing that's a different thing a, a little advert that just showed up on my end so if you notice uh you know you notice that there's the ma the skull from masked guy the gold skull mask guy i drew that from the original the other trailer And uh, pretty much I have, you know, this other dude uh, here on the, on the right side. And I'm just kind of, you know, duplicating. Not duplicating, but just kind of doing the same sort of thing. Oh, okay. Twitch Premiere, Twitch Premiere means uh, they used Amazon to subscribe. That's awesome. Yeah, I forgot that Amazon and Twitch are connected. Finally getting to drawing the skull face on him. Thing I'm doing on my side, I'm really just kind of flat coloring my work here.
<laughs> yes, this isn't an episode 205 a throwdown show. This is a, a throwdown plays. I didn't get to do change out the name or anything like that. I totally forgot it. I just hit the stream button as soon as 5 o'clock hit when I said I was going to show up. <laughs> hey, theoretically, this could be Throwdown uh, uh, 205 for one reason. This was recorded at the same time as Throwdown 205. <laughs> well, at least the, uh, the, the stuff over here on the side there. Wait, which, which video was I pointing? I have to point, probably point the other way, right? Yeah, this side. <laughs> that side. <laughs> I'm so used to like the the you know the restream way of doing it where you just quickly go in and it instantly changes everything. I gotta just open it up. Ah yes. So yeah, guys, uh, if you're gonna you know in and uh, as a, thro a throwdown show said or Tony said, the contest. For Red Dead Redemption is going to be starting soon. We're going to be giving away a copy of Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 for any your console of your choice. Obviously not Switch or a PC, but for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, uh, digital or physical. Um, you know, if you pop on YouTube really quickly, it's going to be start in 20 minutes. They're going to show a little bit of that. And, you know, probably here I'm going to tell you, uh, I'll tell you how you can also do that as well. In fact, maybe I'll just run it in the background, run the, 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 the audio of it in the background so you guys could hear it. I wonder if it will. No, it won't. It won't uh, cut the broadcast off. It's, it's a, a thing. Hmm. Interesting. We'll see. You might. Maybe this broadcast might stop. Yeah, Fonzie, do you know if uh, if it'll do something like that? Like if it'll kick me off just to play that that original video? Yeah, because it's not live streaming. It's just a video upload, right? Tony, we're using Streamlabs, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, Fonzie was telling me some cool things that you can do with it. But you probably already know. You know better than me. This is all future shit. Seven folks in here. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. So yeah, just to reiterate to the folks that are in here, I'm officially, um, 
I am I am live. See, that's me. I'm live. But uh, the video that you see over here, you know, the content that you see over there on that side, that's actually pre-recorded from last night. I'm just kind of here, um, you know, doing uh, you know doing some work that I can't officially show you guys because you know that's the way comics and you know working in as an illustrator works. Everything is all time sensitive and all that other crazy stuff. So that's why I can draw without you know. <laughs> without using my hands but yeah so it's all pre-recorded but you know i'm here to you know answer any questions that you have about the artwork uh, while we're here live and you know just hang out and listen to some fun, fun music uh, all this music is uh, from kojima productions and kojima games actually this is not my playlist this is a playlist from uh from a another uh youtuber uh and he's he's just got an amazing he just opened his youtube pretty not long ago actually and it's all it is is just 24 hours of every single music from every single kojima game you know all the you know I mean, right now you're hearing i think from metal gear solid snake so yeah also yeah just give the guy a shout out um his uh youtube if you ever want to listen to you know just listen to 24 hours of kojima music uh is Metal Gear Codex. Uh, for this, uh, for this one, I'm not actually for this specific piece. I'm actually not recording because it's a cover. It's color cover work for a for a company called Lion Forge for a book called Noble. I can at least tell you that sort of stuff. It's just I can't show you it. Um, I haven't set up anything. I'm probably going to have a... Because I have two versions of OBS in here. Officially, I can actually record, you know, have one running the stream and one other version of OBS running the um, the, the recording side to record what I'm currently doing now. I haven't tested it out yet because it might, it might cause some craziness. But yeah, as of now, I'm not actually recording this. But during Throwdown... Um, you know, a lot of times I'm actually working on stuff. I could actually record while I'm doing that. It's about two hours or, you know, of show that we can kind of, I can do. And also other times when I'm doing it. Cause sometimes I, 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 re sometimes I work really late at night. Like I, you know, Tony could tell you, I'm, you know, up to, to crack the crack of dawn the next day working on stuff. But sometimes I, I, I work on my own things really late at night. And it, to be honest, it's kind of weird to kind of start streaming it like, you know 4 a.m in the morning eastern standard time it's so late for everybody so yeah so what i'll do is maybe i'll just put together some you know just have some of the late night things that i do just to keep the schedule to keep some semblance of a schedule for throwdown draws so that when i can't actually share anything with you uh, or draw for you live i can have something nicely pre-recorded for you and you know talk to you live See, I don't exactly know where this this song is from. It might be a remix or something from another game. I was always telling Honey's, uh, telling Fonzie, this is an idea I actually had, um, you know, Tony, I was, uh, had a, an idea that I had before with, um, yep, give people content. Uh, this is actually an idea that I had when I was doing the Zone of Vendors uh, images for, for Konami. And I, uh, I was like, man, I, I would love to stream these things live for people, but unfortunately, because of the nature of the project and release timing, I can't show any of it so but what you can do what well, I'm like but maybe I could pre-record everything 
and then just do just still do the stream still be here for you guys and talk to you live and everything like that but at the same time also um you know give it a you know uh be able to sh you know to sh you know to talk to you guys and be here live but you know you know not exactly fully drawing on something that you can actually see maybe until later so i still have some other things that i have to do for you know uh if you guys uh, have been keeping an eye on my um on my twitter which i just realized today or yesterday that I actually just recently have six uh, six thousand and twenty seven watchers or followers on my Twitter. Uh, that's amazing. I uh, was be like, wow. Thank thank you guys. You know who uh, are popping in, who are watching my uh, my Twitter. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah. So but yeah guess you know just a fun time to kind of hang out with you guys and listen to some fun, fun music So yeah, the drawing's looking pretty good as far as I as I can tell at that point. So it's cool to see that. Took me a while to get to, to finally get into the groove of what what I really wanted to do with it. By the way, thanks a lot. You know, it's great to have eight uh, eight views watching me live here. Viewers. So yeah, as you can see, like these, uh, what I did for the if you like a while ago, if you paid attention to my Twitter, I made these into postcards um, that I sold at one of at C two E two, and they did really well but I only had like a portion of the cast. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, extend out the, um, the cast. So I drew the, uh, I can't remember her name is, whatever, Sidhu from the uh, Death Stranding, uh, one of the other Death Stranding characters. And then I figured I'd also draw this guy the skull face guys. It's funny about that game. It's like there's no names for any characters that we're hearing. We just keep hearing the names of actors. For me, uh, having actors in video games is kind of just neither here nor there. You know, like having famous actors in video games. To me, it's like it doesn't matter. 
you know, why would you, why do you need to cast, uh, why cast a bunch of famous people into something that, for something you're really not going to see? I mean, granted, it grabs people's, uh, you know, grab people who aren't officially usually gamers. So it's like, oh, hey, blah, blah, blah is in this game. But I think for most gamers, the fact that there's a, a famous actor playing a role doesn't really matter that much. Like, for instance, like if you played Kingdom Hearts, you know that Haley Joel Osment is the voice of Sora in the United States or in the West. Because Haley Joel Osment was playing that character, that character is not the reason why I bought that game, you know, when it originally came out. You know? I don't think having a famous actor really adds any, having any star power to a game really adds anything to the experience. You know, same thing with like um, Beyond Two Souls, which had, uh, you know, Willem Dafoe and um, uh, I can't remember her name uh, from uh, from the X-Men films. I'm like, all right, they're in it, but you know what? You know, could it doesn't didn't really need to have them in there. You know, in fact, a lot of people didn't uh, care f that uh, incredibly that much for Beyond Two Souls because of the fact that the game was not nearly as open. You know, like you you couldn't you were you couldn't choose as much of your the the direction that your characters or alternate endings in that game than you can do in the previous one. You know, um, Heavy Rain, or even uh, you know one of the uh, the other ones. I do still plan to play the other new game, um, uh, Detroit, though. <laughs> though I do feel like some of the, some of the uh, allegory in that in that game, from the stuff I've seen, is a little bit a little bit kind of stupidly on the point. You know, what I mean, like in other words, it's like there's one point where one character that I saw is like literally giving the robot version of I I have a dream from Martin Luther King, and like another person, you know. They're trying to make all this, this, these sorts of allegories to racism, which it's kind of like, it's a little bit on the, like, it's not on the, it's, it's so, it's almost silly at the point that it is at in that game, just from the things that I saw. But I, you know, uh, in general, I, I do, you know, I understand, you know, I mean, you kind of already know where he was kind of going with that sort of, with that game, but it's just like, oh, come on guys. You, it's like, <laughs> I just find it interesting where you, you know, of, of, about a culture writing, writing about uh, um, racism and not actually having that sort of thing in their own culture. Uh, I don't know. Or too much of that in their own culture like having like Japanese folks kind of write up really about racism they really don't experience that over there they experience more of a classism between their own people there are people in Japan you know like as far as you know they're 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 under desirables in Japan you know that they have experience with where it's you know, obviously they're the same race as everybody else but they're it's their class or their or, you know their poverty or whatever that separates them oh shit we got a death stranding song here hello copyright strike <laughs> You saw my my uh, my screen there for a couple of seconds. It's pretty fitting that it started up now when I actually figured out what I was gonna do for the for the character.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should just start playing copyright free music, right? You ever notice that there's a like a Really, you play a bunch of copyrighted music, I um, mean, of, of, of licensed free you know, music in the background? You gotta send me that channel or whatever. And I don't like it to be quiet. You know, when I do these sorts of things. Obviously, when I when I do drawings and stuff, I tend, you know, you get into those modes where you, uh, you're quiet and stuff like that. I was gonna say, you ever notice how like in games like there's this kind of new kind of it's like semi horror aspect of a lot of games. Like you look at control and like Death Stranding and that new game called I think it's called Moon or something like that. It's by the guy who made uh, um it's a, it's an arc system works game. And that game it's like all these kind of like semi scary sort of games. Like, they're not on, like, pure horror, but they're very horror-y, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Oh, you played chiptunes. <laughs> the premiere failed <laughs> since, since I was actually streaming. <laughs> well, it's on YouTube though, right? Okay, so guys, we're actually going to do something a little, a little interesting now. Um, being so that the the uh, so you guys get the information as to what the. Uh, today's what what our little contest is actually going to be i'm going to turn the music off and i'm actually going to uh pipe in tony for a little bit um from our video and uh so you guys can get that information while uh, while you're watching so just turn this down all right all right people what's going on time for another contest and as you can see from the shirt we're giving away Red Dead Redemption 2. You can't see the shirt. For the PS4 and Xbox. Unfortunately, no Switch or PC version, right? And in order to participate in a contest, it's pretty simple. We need you to follow us on Twitch and Twitter. You got to do both. Follow us on Twitch and Twitter. And over on our Twitter, we're going to have a post that asks you, what is your favorite Rockstar game? We need you to reply to that post. We're going to take all the names. You know, you do our little magic with the numbers and stuff. Pick somebody at random. And then we're going to announce the winner live on air, on Twitch, on episode 207 of Throwdown at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. So once again, if you want to win a free copy of Red Dead Redemption, physical or digital, it's your choice, go over to our Twitter and answer the question, what is your favorite Rockstar game? Again, we will select a winner live 10.30 p.m. Eastern on Throwdown episode 207, man. And that's that. That's pretty much that. So get ready. And that's going to be the day before Red Dead Redemption drops, you know. That's it, man. Good luck to all of you, and we will see you, man, later.
All right, people, what's going on? Time for another contest. And as you can see from the shirt, we're giving away Red Dead Redemption 2 for the PS4 and Xbox. Unfortunately, no Switch or PC version, right? And in order to participate in a contest, it's pretty simple. We need you to follow us on Twitch and Twitter. You got to do both. Follow us on Twitch and Twitter. And over on our Twitter, we're going to have a post that asks you, what is your favorite Rockstar game? We need you to reply to that post. We're going to take all the names. You know, you do our little magic with the numbers and stuff. Pick somebody at random, and then we're going to announce the winner live on air on Twitch on episode 207 of Throwdown at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. So once again, if you want to win a free copy of Red Dead Redemption, physical or digital, it's your choice. Go over to our Twitter and answer the question, what is your favorite Rockstar game? Again, we will select a winner live 10.30 p.m. Eastern on Throwdown episode 207, man. And that's that. That's pretty much that. So get ready. And that's going to be the day before Red Dead Redemption drops, you know. That's it, man. Good luck to all of you, and we will see you, man, later. All right, people. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I, I accidentally hit the, you know, hit the, you know, to stop the thing, and then I just repaid it. So, yeah, there you go. That is our show. <laughs> yes, you hear yourself, Tony. So, yeah, I did it. I actually did it twice, once by accident. So, yeah, so as Tony said on that on that, uh, on that that little bit that's on YouTube and will be on the on this channel right immediately after our show, after uh, Throwdown Draws, yes, so you can get a chance to win a copy of Red Dead Redemption. Hey, it's funny. Um, the name of the show just changed to Red Dead Redemption Giveaway with free copy. <laughs> So yes, now Throwdown draws a two, uh, says Red Dead Redemption Two giveaway. <laughs> so yes, so I will just get back to the to the old music here, and uh, I'm gonna play you a little something fun. Yeah, we didn't plan this very well. So <laughs> yeah, we'll communicate better next time. Maybe uh, you know if we're if we're if we're double double running it maybe what i'll do is uh we can ma maybe i can just run the video while we're in uh, if i'm in, if we have any sort of announcements or anything like that maybe we'll just run the video inside of uh, the current thing that we're running we'll see all right so back to no back to our regularly scheduled well not scheduled because we didn't schedule a damn thing but anyway here's some music <laughs> I bet you guys don't know where this is from. Oh, thanks a lot, uh, Big Mike. Got ten heads in here. Been pretty good, man. Uh, just hanging out, doing my thing. Uh, just to just to make it a little clear that um, the drawing that you're seeing right now is actually pre-recorded. It's actually done last night during uh, the episode of Throwdown, uh, Throwdown, your, um, just the episode of Throwdown we did. Uh, 
I'm, I'm actually currently working on something I can't show you guys. Uh, it's, you know, for, for, my, for my, my day job. So I pre-recorded something in advance, but I was going to sit with you here, answer your questions, do all kinds of stuff, and yeah. So yeah, feel free to ask me any sort of questions that you might have about my about my work or the things that I do, the, the actual things that you're seeing here. And yeah, I'm just sit here and enjoy some some fun musics. You can still enter the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is uh, for Red Dead Redemption. What, the, what you need to do is we're going to be, uh, you're just going to have to go to our Twitter and subscribe to that if you're not, if you're not already and subscribe to our Twitch, obviously, or, you know, you know, join, you know, follow our Twitch. And then um, on the, on the, on the Twitter, what you do is there's a, there's going to be a post on there for the actual Red Dead Redemption contest. And you just write down what your favorite uh, Rockstar game is. The uh, it's actually totally random, so anybody can you know anybody who's uh, subscribed to you know subscribed or following us on both YouTube and uh, excuse me on Twitch and on um, Twitter is eligible to win a copy. And it is will you can get any version of the game that you you please. So if you want a digital version, you can get that the same day, or if you feel like waiting a little, waiting. Uh, you can get that as well. You can get it there. Uh, wow. Thank you for the... Let's see what the thing shows up. Oh, you just followed us. Awesome. So, yeah, thanks for the follow. Yeah, so make sure you go all follow. And then, uh, you know, follow the Twitter. And then just write what your favorite Rockstar game is. And there you go. You are set. And then what we'll do is on... on uh, I think on... Uh, in a couple of throwdowns, we're going to be doing the drawing. It's going to be a random drawing. We'll do it right live on the air. And then you'll win a copy. And here's another thing about our, 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 our throwdown uh, Twitch. We're, you know, still talking about different things to do for you guys who have subscribed. You know, obviously, you know, paying for the for the premium, you know, the, the different versions of this of the show. So one thing we have is we have custom emotes. We have one is a Torrance Davis one. And then the next level is a um, Bowser one. We're also talking about the higher tier ones, which will be cooler for people, as well as uh, for all of our um, for all of our uh, we're talking about for all of our you know uh, subscribers. We'll have a, a fun little special thing that we haven't we, we've we've talked about. We're but I'm not going to you know announce that right now. We're gonna we're gonna have something really cool for you guys some sort of giveaways or something like that we'll talk about that on uh the next episode of throw it on your questions which is on this sunday also if you guys um you know you notice that i'm here for a little while so um after this show after we're done we're done drawing here if you're you know you still want to keep stay tuned we're gonna have a, a stream with riku sun a former uh regular of the throwdown podcast doing another playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 
for uh, you know pl you know for the PS4. He's actually playing Ke Kingdom Hearts 2 for the first time. So he's played the first one pretty recently. So he's kind of just playing catch up before the Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, which is really awesome. Well, I mean, you know what? Here's the thing. Like, uh, I mean, I wonder if I, I wonder if I curse a lot. I can't tell, <laughs> but I know definitely curse the Tony curses a lot more than I do. So yeah, it makes sense. You know. <laughs> Just turned on the multiple lighting so that you can do this under normal circumstances. You know, when I turn my lights off, you actually can't see me very well. <laughs> yes, I make up for my cursing for by using by by getting a bunch of copyright strikes on my uh, on my videos. But it sucks that you can't even play video game music on here. I mean, not on here. <laughs> Excuse me, not on here, but on YouTube. <laughs> you know what we should do? Just for the hell of it? Just put a bunch of bleeps over, all over the videos and see how it goes if we really wanted to get the YouTube to work really well. You just put like little beeps and stuff right over the over the things. See, here's the thing. It's it stinks that though, like we're that 
that we're, you know, that sort of information comes out now. You know? You know, it's funny, the, the, the you know, the angry video game nerd, he was, uh, the reason why he left YouTube before was because of that. Because he, you know, because he actually curses quite a bit in his videos. So the, the, he kept on getting called for the language, right? So what he did was he's just like, you know what? That's it. I'm, I'm not going to be on YouTube. So what he did was he put everything on. He, he created his own site called Cinemassacre, and that's where he put all of his stuff on, where he could collect his own ad revenue and all that other good stuff. So nobody's safe. I know, you know, uh, I mean, it was it was said that the, the cursing thing was the, one of the things I was going to, that they were talking about on there. But, I mean, I, I had a feeling it was the adult, it was our adult content that might have been getting us, not, you know, getting us called, you know? I don't know. What do you have a taste for, dear? Sure. We already had pizza, though, and had eight and Chinese food. Yeah, it's switched to throw down draws, but it still says Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. No, I'll figure out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, 14 viewers. Awesome. Thanks a lot for watching. Yeah, the every single time we start up uh, the road on draws it or any other show, it shows the the name of the last show, which is weird. So yeah, we have uh, close to an hour and what I would say an uh, an hour and forty minutes on this drawing. Uh, I'm almost done. Uh, you know, from what I can see here, I'm almost done with the inking. You're going to probably see at the two hour and something mark, you're going to probably see a little writing on the corner on the top left, which is just to tell me in the future I'm getting close to finishing. Oh, thank you for the, for the, what is that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Carlo. Ooh, and it switched again. Now we're back into art. <laughs> I have to know what this song's from. It's probably a remix of a song. You guys ever heard of, I think it's called the Konami... Uh, culture in a culture club or music club so the konami uh music club or C culture club used to be the awesome like the konami used to have this like in-house band they used to essentially do remixes of all of their their and soundtracks for a lot of their albums a lot of their games 
So this might be one of those things, one of those uh, situations where they took a song that was, you know, from a game and they just kind of made their own, like a metal version of it. People, what's going on? Time for another. Whoops, sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the culture. Cl it's I can't remember what it's called. It's called the Konami Social Club or Konami Culture Culture Club, and it was essentially an in-house band that they had that would do a bunch of remix um, albums. Of some of their famous stuff, so uh, there's like remixes, like of, like awesome remix of um, Metal Gear stuff they've done, stuff from all kinds of other games that they've done. Like they've done a really awesome version of like some of the Castlevania music, and this is all done internally from Konami, like their own people that did it at the time. They used to hire them to do the music. In fact, they did the mu remixed music for Snatcher when it came to Sega CD. Like they made new new versions of the song, the chip tune songs that were originally in the game when it was like on an MSX or you know the, the the PC versions that they had. So here's a question: What are the icons that we see here? Um, I noticed that one person has a crown. Oh, that, that means they're a Twitch premiere person, which is awesome. Um, broadcaster and subscriber. That's um, that's t that's a throwdown. Subscriber, and then what's Turbo mean? There's a little battery next to uh, to you, Honey's Gaming. What's that mean? Oh, okay. So the little crown means Twitch Premiere. Awesome. So does that mean you're, uh, uh, Carlo, are you watching us on, on uh, Amazon? Hey, Tony, can you put in uh, uh, another, uh, another, um, a little hashtag uh, thing for um, the... Um, you know, because I just saw all the all the you know digital art illustration sketching. I saw all that's just show up onto on the description now on 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 Twitch. Can we also add Death Stranding? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. You just uh, you just connected your Amazon with uh, your Twitch. Awesome. See, this is also another remix of the of the the song from um, when you fight Psycho Mantis from that same group. I forgot what the name of it is. Wow, fifteen viewers. Thanks a lot for you guys showing up. You know, got a little bit more on this drawing to go. Uh, got to do some more inking and stuff like that to get them, get them all, uh, you know, cleaned up and everything. But yeah, soon, soon that'll be done.
awesome stuff, man. Big Mike, thank you, thank you for, uh, you know, for entering the contest. You're gonna be in there just like everybody else, and we're gonna we're gonna do that on. Um... Oh, what it was that? I got a little something there. Well, thank you for the subscription. Who's calling me? Hmm. Yep. Thanks for sh uh, for following us, Gold Chain Gamer. Thank also Tony. Thank you for keeping a heads up on that. Yeah. <laughs> All I hear, here's the thing, on my side, I don't hear anything. I just hear that little on the, on this side, so I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I've done I've done art streams before on Twitch um, on my or on my normal account, but I figured you know whenever I do gaming related stuff, I would like to keep it to you know our throwdown thing. That's the big thing about Throwdown. We're trying to, we tried to at least, you know, before we tried to keep everything sort of gaming related. And you can see, uh, Tony, on your side, you can see all the different um, chat things on the, on the, on the on the this side pretty good right Yeah, right now when I have my alerts, the the, the the way I see the sort of alerts is um, I have OBS open and I also have the Twitch stream open separately.
Yep, that's the total in the background there. That's the previous of one of those these I've done. I try to keep them all, I'll open them up, and and kind of look at the the previous ones so that I can kind of keep the consistency between them. Because what I've done with these is just I kind of just you know did all kinds of uh i try to keep the, the consistency so that's why i have the naked norman Reedus there with the baby in the background just to kind of keep all the sizes similar All right. Thanks for the subscription. Ha! Ah, that's a YouTube subscription. <laughs> yeah, I think I still have all the YouTube stuff just still in, still attached in here. Okay. All right, so I got Streamlabs open now. So. Yeah. 
so let's go down to the, down the line uh, of, of all the people that have just done it in the last hour, I guess. So we got uh, Golden Chain Gamers. Thank you for the followed. Follow um, single print. Triangle uh, 1298. Uh, Hope I got your name right. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Heaven Smile uh, 94. Thank you for the follow. I'm learning Fonzie. <laughs> Fonzie, you are our Twitch guru. Teach us the way of the warrior. Oh, Fonzie, did you see what who are uh, see some of our emotes yet? <laughs> One of our emotes is actually Torrance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Barry Burton, you know you are our bit leader, right? <laughs> wow, for a second there, we had about 15 people watching. That's cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we can I wonder if we could change the thing from bit leader to bit boss. Bit boss. Uh 
Oh, see, look at that. That one's an interesting one. It's a, it's a, it's a gift that moves back and forth. I wonder if we can do that. <laughs> so how we doing in the room there looks like a lot of nice activity going on yeah what happened to those 15 people man we blew up and then we came back down again it's probably because we, we had red dead redemption 2 set as our uh, as our thing <laughs> Everybody done popped in and then they instantly stopped. But nah. I'm looking through the art section. You guys can still hear me, right? 
I didn't uh, get cut off here. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, the music just stopped, right? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, whatever I had uh, playing on there, uh, the, I guess the it stopped off a couple of uh, my... Uh, a couple of things just kind of turned off. But yeah, everything seems to be working pretty good. Still. Just a little slow, I'm guessing, right? How's the video quality, by, by the way, guys? This guy, he just runs around like... Like... Like when he's hungry. That's what he does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a butt... Like, he just starts running around like crazy. It's the only time he does this when he's hungry. Hmm, all right. Sounds good to me. Barry Burton, you gave us 30 bits. You truly are, big boss. Yo, man, 10 people, though. <laughs> you the mod now, Tony? Who's the other version of you? Who's a uh, throwdown right now? <laughs> One's an incognito window, isn't it? <laughs> Got ten people because one of them was you, and one was the throwdown pot, uh, the throwdown one. This is from the skate game that Konami put together where you could play as Raiden and you could play as Snake. In fact, this is in the um, the VR missions game, the original VR missions game. A demo for this was in it. Oh, Barry Burns got a bunch of Bowsers. coming up next. This is all randomized now. We don't need to listen to this song.
let's put something on that's not Metal Gear related. Uh, what do we got in here? Torrances and Bowsers. <laughs> you got a Venom there too, Barry. Oh yeah, speaking of Nier Automata, I actually got, the, well, we'll see, you can look at my little thing in the corner here, but I actually got a little, a little a meal here. Yeah. Yay. Fun stuff. Um, I actually, um, from Play Arts Kai, I actually got the, um, Got the uh, the near original near figures, and this is Kaine from the from the original uh, near, which is pretty cool. Let's, let's see if we can get where she is. There she is. There. You go. See? It's actually a really cool figure. It's uh, Play Arts has decided to kind of go with a smaller scale. Usually they're kind of pretty big. They're like you know like a little bit under 12 inches tall. So uh, now they have another smaller scale. I mean, we're looking for like you know, uh, uh, Fonzie. We're looking for something to do something really kind of cool with with the little icons. I do think that Torrance is a nice one. Though I was originally suggested, I originally suggested to Tony making one of his head as well. But I also want something that also kind of represents all of us on the show a little bit. I mean, granted, we there are a lot of things that we have in common as far as gaming goes. So I'm thinking of something like that too. Something really fun that that's very us. Well, here's the one thing. Like I was also thinking of, you know, because we back on the throat on uh, on you and play we had a lot of we drew a lot of the people that were on there or I, I drew a bunch of the people on the site so doing something along those lines Yeah, the Brett the Brett soapbox is definitely one that I want to make. For those of you don't who don't know what this is, this is actually the the chip tune soundtrack to Near Automata. So there's two different soundtracks. There's one that's a full-on soundtrack, which has like a few discs, and then there's the chip tune version of every single song on there. And this is that. Near has a really cool like like music system where it's like almost all the different tracks are all running at the same time. So like um, when you play as 9S, right, and he hacks people, this song plays when these versions of the songs play whenever he hacks somebody, and it perfectly syncs with the with the real music of the game. So, 
as soon as you you know you jump into the into the hacking mode it goes to a chiptune version and then you come back out and then it's the same song just with normal instruments they have like a really cool dynamic system of music and that's one thing i noticed about this generation that they have these really cool like dynamic musics that kind of change you know as you're playing the game like spider-man has it too whenever like you walk around as normal spider-man like was you just not doing anything awesome the music just kind of fades out but whenever you decide to jump off a building the music kind of swells and gets more epic the more cool things that you do as you swing through the city So it keeps the kind of music alive. So yeah, we reached the two hour mark here. So we're getting close to, to, to completing this. Should take about another 40 minutes and I should be done with it. If you notice at one point in the, in, the, in the stream, I actually flipped everything around just to check my symmetry. A lot of times I'll do that like if I have like a light box or something like that, or you know, like a, a lamp, like, like I have on this side of me, you know, just to kind of switch and check my symmetry as, as far as my work does. Digitally, what you can do, you can visually kind of switch things around, you know? Football arms you added to uh, to the uh, to the Bowser there. I see Barry Burton. You hear me making noises there. <laughs> Sometimes Photoshop has this really weird way of doing things. Like you're trying to select something and won't let you select anything. Tony, you never played the second the, the second playthrough of Nier, did you? You only just played the first part, right? What was that? Okay, what you gonna get? Uh, which place are you ordering from? 
that the usual place? Oh no no, that's tomato. That's some more. What are you getting? Hmm. Huh. Not pizza. Uh, you know what? I'll get that. Will they? Do they also still? Can I get my um, Mexican Coke from there too? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, pasta. What's that? Chicken. <laughs> yeah, let's get some hot wings. Yeah, let's do it. I'm cool with that. Sure. Yeah, get the birch beer. See with our little uh, our little bits say here. Yeah, just put my stuff in. You got my card. Good stuff. Also, I found out Green's ice cream delivered again. Oh, good. So, do you want me to put an order for that? Which one is that one? That's the one. Green's ice cream factory. You know which one that is. That the the small one that's near the video game store? Yeah. Oh, I would like to get one from the other place though. The one that the one that's there on um down the street from the other pizza place? Okay. You don't? Mm, I'm good then. I like their stuff better. Well, they have gelato. So. I like their gelato better than the other places ice cream. Six folks. We jump around. Hope you guys are enjoying what we got so far. We're going to be closing up shop really soon, maybe about 40 minutes more. Later, Fonzie. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, man. For those of you guys out there, that was uh, Honey's Gaming, a really great streamer, good friend of the show, a former uh, STFU and Play alumni like us on Throwdown. Make sure you give a watch to his uh, channel or follow to his channel. Always doing some really cool gaming stuff. Also, if you notice that sometimes when we're off the air, we may also you will you will also see his stream as well because we're hosting him.
So Tony, I can use Streamlabs to change the name of stuff, right? Or I have to go directly into um, Twitch to switch out names and things. Right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm just checking the original line wire underneath. So guys, you think a Friday is a good day to do uh, to do streams and stuff? I know that everybody, you know, most people are out trying to do fun stuff on, you know, go to the movies or something like that. I do think that do starting at maybe at five, those actually is actually kind of cool. Riku does it Fridays nights. But that's when everybody's already kind of home. But I mean, like, maybe going on at 5 o'clock, you know, like, like I do right now, like I did today, might be a cool with people. Granted, they'll probably catch a portion of it, like, uh, when they come back home. I know 5 is when everybody gets out of work. I'm trying to find that magic hour, you know? thing you know is is keeping a sort of consistency you know with uh with at least with the shows kind of like what we do with throwdown you know and i think that's what also will help help it is probably my you know some doing some episodes that are you know i'm running while i'm here you know working and then also you know somewhat pre-recording a lot of it so that i can still be here with you guys and talk live but also have my my work running Anybody getting sick of the near automata chiptune soundtrack? Just let me know.
Hey, welcome. Got eight heads in here. Good stuff. Yep, just drawing some Death Stranding here. Drawing the, the skull, skull-faced man, or whatever they want to call him. Because they don't name anybody in the game, they just name the actors. I'm gonna move this. I'm actually gonna f trying to fill in the whole character now. So um, uh, you notice that you saw that blue there on the program that I that I'm using, uh, Sai. Uh, you can uh, do a selection and it'll show you where the actual selection is, as opposed to like Photoshop, where it gives you a little kind of ants or dotted line that kind of blinks. So it, what it does in this program is it gives you a like a, a tint. Oh, see. If you notice, I'm writing a little something there. Yeah, I've been running it for like two hours and 50 something seconds there. So, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that was just a note to tell you, to, to say to myself that, okay, I am getting close to finishing, finishing off the image. Because uh, again, I pre-recorded uh, pre-recorded the actual artwork um, so that I could work on my own, you know, work on my job <laughs> while right, while we talk. You know, one of the reasons why I decided to do, you know, I wanted to draw some Death Stranding sort of fan art and stuff like that for, you know, but at the same time, I didn't want to do um, likenesses of the actual actors and players inside of the the game, you know, like Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen and Nita Sidhu and all those characters, all those people, because I, I, at the same time, as much as I... You know, I respect those actors for what they do. I don't really care for the fact that there's professional, like not, not professional, but well-known actors inside of a game. To me, you know, if you're making a video game and you can make an infinite, per, you know, make it make the game anybody that you want, why do we need to have famous actors play these roles? It's the same problem I had with them. Um, Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 when they switched out David Hayter for um, uh, what's his name? The Kiefer Sutherland. I personally, you know, I like Kiefer Sutherland, but you know, Kiefer Sutherland is not Snake. And to be honest, once you hear Kiefer Sutherland's voice as Snake, you're like, oh, hey, that's Kiefer Sutherland. That's not Snake. And I like voices that it's okay if a voice sounds a little bit voicey to me, but to me, that's the connection that you have with those sorts of characters. It's a totally made-up character. His voice or, you know, their voices is something from somebody else that somebody created, stuff like that. I, I kind of dig that sort of stuff. You know, having famous people in, in games really doesn't do anything. I, all it really does is just kind of draw more external media attention to stuff. What's up, Matt? Yep, drawing some shibi characters here. 
<laughs> is it is it uh is it your favorite game franchise? Oh, excuse me, I read it wrong. My game favorite game franchise. Uh, what you mean, Death Stranding? <laughs> Death Stranding is not even a, a, a doesn't even have a first game. Can we even call it a, a franchise? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Jossie? Oh, awesome. Who's a razor fist? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm I'm the, I'm actually the same way when it comes to MGS5. I mean, there's portions of it that I I, I personally didn't like, but I, you know what? I'm not gonna. There are people in that that quite enjoy the game and think the game is perfect. No game is perfect, and you know what Metal Gear Five it was. You know, its final outcome is is what it is. You know, no amount of yelling or complaining about it's gonna ever change that. So I accept it for what it is. You know. And I enjoyed I enjoyed the ending and I enjoyed the the ride and I think that's that's all you can really ask for. I mean, given the circumstances as to what the game was finished in, you know. I mean, you know, when it comes to like people uh, not liking other th things that other people don't like, uh, it's it's a bit of a slippery slope. Yeah, exactly. Nothing is truly perfect. Zeno Gears, I uh, is Zeno Gears is your favorite game of all, game of all time? Yeah, for me, um, Zeno Gears. Uh, I mean, I I personally returned the game because I just was not happy with it. It's one of the rare things I'd ever done. Although I do respect the game for what it did, uh, but it was not something that I uh, that I, I enjoyed. But I'm not gonna <laughs> throw you under the bus for liking the game. A lot of people like that game. I mean, go on. I like the game The Bouncer. You know what? That game is definitely not perfect. But you know what? It's one thing that I enjoyed. And to be honest, everybody has it, has at least one or two things that are just not popular that they love. You know what I mean? 
that goes for even like horror movies or you know B movies. There's just those things that are out there that people. I I, I have a belief where it's like, well not a belief, but a, a saying. It's like if you make it, somebody will enjoy it. It doesn't matter if it's gonna. It, sometimes it will just be a few people, so, and then a, a lot of times it's everybody that likes it. But so, you know, like, yeah, but you do bring up a good point. It's like, okay, do people, um, you know, uh, should, you know, I, I think, you know, a lot of times what happens with people, where, you know, where, where people seem to confuse fact, certain, certain facts and certain opinions, just because a lot of people's opinions are exactly the same or, or, or the, exactly the same on a certain subject doesn't exactly totally mean there's, it, it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's it, it was it was a long time ago, man. I, I really didn't I wasn't enjoying the the ride. I mean, I did like the intro of the game, which took place in his little town, and you're kind of slowly but surely kind of learning stuff about it. But I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Same thing happened. I, I actually returned um, uh, Final Fantasy uh, VIII as well. It was uh, the the draw system in that game was not not to my liking. I didn't like the, uh, I mean, I was having, me, there was a certain portion of the game that I needed to use Diablos, you know, to get the Aeon Diablos. And then what happened was that, like, I didn't know at the time that the game also, um, like, got harder the higher level that you were. So what I was doing was I was just going, you know, thought it was usual Final Fantasy fair. So I go into the seed um, hunting ground and beat up on this stupid Tyrannosaurus Rex and I'm like I got to a point and I was like how come this Tyrannosaurus Rex is always hard this stupid this dumb Tyrannosaurus Rex is still whipping my ass at a really high level hey you know the thing is that when it comes to certain things people have their uh, opinions about things and it you know sometimes people can't take that sort of sort sort of you know like um it's not belittling but like take some that the fact that somebody has a different opinion about something you know not everybody is going to like these sorts of things you know says now on Final Fantasy uh, uh, 8 uh, I uh, I can agree that uh, the game was uh, not good at all even then there were a uh, few good things about the squall being my favorite Final Fantasy uh, protagonist uh, and next next to Cecil and Locke and uh, Zidane I didn't actually like uh, um, Squall too much because he was—I don't know—I found him kind of kind of a dick. Because <laughs> every every single time somebody would say to him like, "Oh, you know, uh, Squall, something's going on," he'd be like, "I don't care, whatever." I'm like, "Ah, oh. I I liked Laguna better, and I wish you'd played Laguna more." Squall was kind of like this angsty teen that just kept on like, meh, whatever. I'm like, why are you even in this dump, this super school of like warriors when you don't give a shit about anything, bud? <laughs> Zidane's cool. I like Zidane. Uh... And Cecil's awesome too. I like the his growth as a character where he 
starts off as kind of like a, you know, he starts off as just kind of like a, uh, you know, just a hitman or, you know, a general for that army. And then all of a sudden he realizes everything's all wrong. And he's working for a horrible person. In the color phase, you're actually going to see me pull open a, a, a couple of other files because I'm what I'm doing um, is I'm just pulling colors to keep consistency between all of these kind of shibi versions of the Death Stranding characters. I, uh, <laughs> you know, use the same colors over and over again. I didn't want to necessarily take the colors from the Shinkawa piece that I have open there on the left, so I just kind of, you know, use my own work to to kind of pull the colors to keep keep them all together. You know a game that people don't talk about a lot? Parasite Eve. That was a great game. I love that game. It was uh, also being from New York, you know, kind of seeing like, you know, a lot of places that I knew in digital form. You could definitely see that they kind of went through the city and got a, you know, and literally kind of re did a really good job of recreating everything. Like running around Central Park or the uh, portion of the game that takes place inside of the Museum of Natural, uh, not the Museum of Natural History, yeah, the Natural History Museum. Oh, thank you, uh, Matt. Yeah, um, uh, I ha I actually bought the um, Near Automata uh, uh, at E3, the soundtrack to, to Near at the E3, like last year. And they were doing like, a really cool special deal where you got both uh, both soundtracks. You got um, you got the original soundtrack, you know, and then you got the cool 8-bit version of it, too, that you hear when you're um, playing uh, as 9S. Oh, so now we're going to the real near atomic the soundtrack. I just keep it going. Be cool. Um, yeah, near atomic got your game of the year. Awesome. <laughs> it's one of my favorites from last. It's literally one of my favorites. Like last year, last year, um, for me it was. Near and it was uh, and it was Gravity Rush. Those are my two favorite from last year. Had a good time with those. Now you get to hear the full orchestrated version of the same song, which was in the eight bit version. This one has like has like uh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, I never actually played the original in here, but what I did was actually, it's actually kind of cool what I did. Um, so, um, the voice actor of 9S, uh, who also has a Twitch uh, on here, uh, he actually played through the whole game of Nier, but the caveat that he did was that he voice acted, him and the cast, of, most of the cast of Nier, voiced, uh, Nier Automata voice acted the portions of the game that were not voice acted. 
So in other words, whenever he would walk over to somebody, he was doing a sort of impression of the guy playing um, near in that original game. And then he had, you know, uh, his, uh, you know, uh, a couple of other people that were there too, doing all the different other voices. I think that's actually a really cool thing, like a cool little thing to do. Like I've noticed that a lot of the voice actors nowadays are a lot younger now. And most of them, a lot of them are gamers. Yep, Kyle McCarley. Yeah, Kyle's been a lot of stuff. So yeah, he's uh yeah. So I watched all of that. I watched him play through the game, and with you know with the thing, because uh, obviously I'm doing this work. I can't look at the screen all the time and read all the different texts and things. So what I did was you know I thought that was a really cool way to kind of. It's almost like a radio play at that point. So you hear the the actual voice acting from the game, and then you also hear Kyle's impression of the the lead in the original near, you know, near. You know what I'd like to see them do though, if they took the game, the original game near, and remade it, right? And then you have both versions of of near, where you have the kind of brother version of near, and then you have the the older dad version of near. And you have Kyle play the young, you know, kind of Raiden-ish Nier. And then you have, I guess, the original guy who played the older dad Nier. Dad near. It's actually kind of cool about um, Near Automata. It actually doesn't play favorites between the two versions of the game. In fact, there's references to both both Nears in Near Automata and in the weaponry lore. The pipe that you get, it's you know, it's it's a uh, of it belongs to Dad Near, and then you find another one. That belongs to, the, you know, a little story about the other near, the you know, the, the, the brother near. Yeah, the voice of a voice that Kyle McCarley has sounds very similar to another voice actor. That kind of like, ah, I'm gonna get you. That kind of voice that they sort of use, that kind of young guy voice they use in a lot of anime. on this here. Oh, well, that's good to hear. You know what? It's because you have some a distraction that's not exactly work. You're not thinking about working all the time. Yeah. And it's not the same old videos and things that you listen you, you were listening to or watching. Oh, I mean, I'm listening to Good stuff. Is she writing it? I mean, did no, she write that one? Someone else wrote it, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> That, the anime, I think I've watched the anime of that one. I can't remember. It wasn't bad. Yeah, the, the, the manga's not bad, but it's not, it's the 
Or no, if, it's just okay. Like, if you're if you think you're gonna get full metal alchemist out of that one, you're not really gonna get that. No, no, no. It's like a, It's so. It's. It's interesting about that, that that book specifically because it's like that's the thing that she did immediately after Full Metal Alchemist, isn't it? Or was it before? Oh, okay, so it was her book before it. Thanks a lot. Um, let me see who, who did that. <laughs> hey, uh, is that Barry? B who? Okay. Thanks, uh, uh, Chesy Black Onyx for the follow. Okay, let's put something else on. Put something. I'm trying to find something else to put on for you guys. I don't want to kill you with all the near. So let's uh let's give you another one. Mm-hmm. 
We're getting close to the end here. Doing a little bit of a, a little thing here, and then we're gonna head on out. Thanks a lot, Re uh, Agent Red Shirt. Alrighty guys, I want to thank you very much for joining me this evening for another episode of Throwdown Draws. And uh, yeah, I am glad that you guys decided to join me for this one. It, you know, I hope to keep doing these things for you. And uh, yeah, so make sure to keep an eye out for our streams. We will be doing... A, another stream tonight. We're gonna to, uh, have Riku Sun One uh, uh, is going to be streaming Kingdom Hearts uh, Two for you tonight. For he's playing it for the first time. Also, we have a Red Dead Redemption uh, contest going on right now, um, which the video will show up on here. Also, I, uh, during the stream, I also had a little had the audio of that uh, video. Essentially, what you have to do is watch us on Twitter, watch us on uh, follow us on. Um, on Twitch, and then also on Twitter, make sure you leave a little uh, a little um, a note on there, which we have a little uh, thing posted on there about which is your favorite Rockstar game, and you will be able, uh, be eligible to get a copy of Red Dead Redemption for your console choice. So Xbox, PlayStation, you could either get the digital or you can get the other one. So yeah, and we're gonna be uh, announcing that on a future episode of Throwdown. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time. And yep, yeah, see you later, guys.